In the next tutorials, we will have look on scratches, curvature, and roughness tools, which are very important for realistic looking materials. As example here is 3D model of engine which I purchased recently, and as you can see by default it contains seed 4D materials instead redshift materials. So as first step, I completely replaced all these materials with random materials from our library. I have used metal category, plastic category and glass category, and I spent less than 5 minutes to tweak these materials. So for this engine I'm not using any textures anymore, all are just our procedural materials. And if I zoom in, you can see that all these materials contain imperfection details, which helps with natural looking result. That's why it's very important to use scratches, curvature or roughness tool. I will start with scratches. We have four types of scratches. I will demonstrate scratches workflow on this shader. As I mentioned already multiple times, it is important to match properly size of patterns and elements with size of object. This shader is one meter large. Scratches one are easy to use, and if I will use Scratches one tool for blend with this material, as you can see it produce huge amount of smaller type of scratches. Reason is simple. Object is one meter large, but small type of scratches are by default significantly smaller. You can adjust scratches scale if you need, but you have to understand that not all scratches are large, and more natural is when object contains small scratches as well. So in this case problem is density and placement of the scratches, not their size. That's why we have selection option in this tool. As you can see if is selection value 1, it doesn't affect pattern at all. But if is selection value 0, as you can see, scratches pattern is not visible anymore. And in case that you will control selection with max and noise or vertex selection, you will have control over scratches density and placement. So for demonstration, I will use max and noise, but you can use any other selection tool, vertex selection or field selection instead. And as you can see, it's immediately produce more natural looking result. Difference between black and white parts you can control with low clip and high clip parameters. As you can see, wider range produce softer looking result with more visible scratches, and narrower range produce exactly opposite. Overall scale of max and noise is also very important, because it affects scratches placement and visibility as well. Once you like scratches density, for inspiration you can change noise seed. It generates for you different looking result and variations. So as you can see, this workflow is very helpful, and you have full control over scratch's density and its placement. As next step, I will zoom in. Now I can tweak scratch's look or pattern exactly as I need. We have four types of scratch's tools, each with 10 types of patterns, so together you can choose from 40 different types of scratch's. You will be able to create in short period of time good looking scratch's exactly as you need. You just need to explore these tools and spend some time to try them out. As you can see, type 0 are vertical small scratches, type 1 are horizontal scratches, type 2 are almost like dent looking scratches, type 3 are complex looking scratches, and here I will stop to demonstrate how to control complex type of scratches. Basic shape of complex scratches needs some adjustment. As first step, I will adjust intensity of this shape. As second step, I will change pattern scale, and as you can see it strongly affects result. Breakup scale helps to define pattern shape, and as you can see it allows me control look of scratches and its details. Another important parameter is shape clamp. It allows me to create softer and wider looking scratches or exactly opposite. So as you can see, if I will increase this value, it produces completely different result than we had seconds ago, and this complex shape looks pretty cool now. This just confirms that with tools, you need to use just a couple of sliders, and you can create huge number of good looking results. And again, as you have seen in our previous tools, if you will use larger offset values it will work as randomizer. So you can explore different looking scratches just with changing offset values. As you can see, these few sliders are very powerful, and you do not need additional parameters to create good looking scratches. You just need to spend some time with this tool, and once you will understand its workflow, you will never ever need to use scratches from standard textures anymore.
Here is example where I combined three different types of scratches together. I'm still using just scratches one tool and it's three different results I'm blending together in color layer node. Currently you can see result from first tool and its values. Here are values from second tool and here are values from third tool. If I will increase contribution of first layer now, you are able to see additional scratches. And if I will increase contribution of second layer as well, you are able to see blend of all three scratches layers together. For better demonstration, I will turn off and turn on these layers again. And as you can see, this object contains now detailed scratches of all sizes. So do you get an idea how I can create layers of scratches and blend them together exactly as I need? It's simple and very effective workflow. And I can choose placement for each layer with selections, so these scratches will be visible just on selected places. For scratches on exact places, you can use vertex selection, where field will control scratches visibility instead. And if I will zoom out now, as you can see it produced natural looking result without pattern repetition or tiling effect. And this is result just from scratches one tool. Now I can randomly change parameters and as you can see it produced different looking result. That's something what will never work with standard texture sets. Scratches 1 is easy to use tool, but we have also Scratches 2, Scratches 3 and Scratches 4 tools. Scratches 2 tool is more complex and allows you to have even more control over Scratches look and its pattern. Workflow is the same, but you have available more parameters. So it's recommended for more experienced users. As next step, I will apply Scratches 2 directly onto the object. Now you can see how looks Scratches mask. Also, you can see that it has different looking patterns or shapes than Scratches 1 tool. Scratches 2 tool allows you to deform pattern, so you can stretch scratches exactly as you need. It can be helpful if you need to define scratches shape more prominent in dedicated axis. Also remember that for placement you have to use selection input, exactly as I explained already in previous example. Scratches 2 tool controls pattern thickness with scalar ramp node. It allows you to have more control over scratches look and shaped scratches pattern with ramp node curve exactly as you need. This curve is in correlation with scratches intensity, so adjust intensity value exactly as you need. Also you have control over pattern breakup scale and its deform, so as you can see compared to scratches 1 tool, with scratches 2 you can design more advanced looking results. Just remember to use selection input for correct placement and scratches visibility across the object. Scratches 3 are the simplest of these four tools. If you don't want to spend any time with designing your own scratches, use scratches 3 tool. Again, workflow is the same, but this tool has predefined shapes already. So it contains less parameters, but still allows you to have base control over scratches scale and its shape. So if you prefer simplicity, use Scratches 3 tool. As you can see, I'm able to create various type of scratches just with these few sliders and with changing scratches type. Again, offset works as randomizer, so use offset parameter to reveal different looking shapes and results. Selection is using the same workflow as previous scratches tools. Last tool for creating scratches is Scratches 4 tool. Scratches 4 tool is very similar like Scratches 2 tool, so you have control over the same type of parameters. But this tool is using different type of basic shapes. It means it produced different looking results than Scratches 2 tool. So if you have feelings that you didn't find enough good looking scratches in previous three tools, check out Scratches 4. Also, Scratches 4 are using by default Max and Noise for controlling selection and placement. So change noise parameters and noise size to match your object properly. And for additional pattern shaping, we are using Max and Noise to control randomness of pattern scale. If I will disconnect Max and Noise from pattern scale, as you can see it produced different looking result. So check out all four Scratches tools and you can easily decide which one is working the best for you. 
In the next tutorial, we will have look on curvature tools, combined tools, and roughness tool.